Hello and welcome uh, back to the channel. This is a React Native video on using Mongo Realm DB. Um, I see this card saying Mongo Realm DB. It's Mongo DB Realm. But um, why am I interested in this? I'm interested in having an offline first database that can sync to a backend real time database that can do geo querying. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm trying something different than Firebase because that's what most folks say. Why don't you just use Firebase? Let's just try something different here. And so we're going to work with the uh, MongoDB Realm. Well, first of all, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, also, make it clear up front this is a React Native video. Uh, I do have a Vue.js video that shows how to integrate MongoDB Realm with Vue.js inside of the Ionic Framework mobile application. The link will be included below. You're welcome to check that out. Uh, but like I said, this is React Native MongoDB Realm. Uh, all I'm going to do in this first part is I'm just going to follow along their tutorial to make sure that I can get everything working. And, and I'm just going to record that for you so you can check it out and follow along with me as I move on to a more complex project. What I'm going to try and do is take the, what I built for the Vue project was a mobile application that keeps track of Tesla charging locations and plots them on a map for you. So I have a Tesla, I was looking for something different to plot, so that's how I came up with that. So let's first get to MongoDB Realm, and where is the, let's go to tutorial, and React Native, and let's see, is this what we're going to do? No, this is their stuff. We're going to go, let's see if we can get it get started, mobile developers. Give me a second to find out where I want to be. MongoDB Realm, uh, Realm Database SDK, React Native. This is interesting. There's like multiple, um, there's multiple tutorials here. Uh, let's, so I went through another one earlier, but let's go through this one. This is really weird. Uh, okay. So we're just going to kind of work our way through one of these examples, as I said. Uh, let's look at the installation requirements. I've already all, done all this to kind of save you guys time. But let's just kind of go through it anyway. The important thing is to know it does not work with Expo. So I've created a Create React Native app. I've got that running, got all the downloads. I then uh, initialized my app, I changed it to the app directory, I installed Realm, I installed CocoaPod dependencies, I did not enable TypeScript, and I have run my app. So now we can go to my app. So this is my app. I've cleaned out all of the stuff on the inside. So all we have is just an empty view inside of a safe area. I've already imported Realm, so I'm ready to go there. This is a bunch of the stuff that I took out, so let's kind of get that out of there. And um, I think we're ready to go. So once again, all I'm going to do here, I'm just using React Native as a container to kind of test how this works in this first video. And in the next video, we'll integrate it into, more deeply integrate it into a traditional React Native application. So let's go and take a look at what they, how they say this guy goes. So um, let's look at this quick start. We've done this. We need to define our we define an uh, object using the schema. So we have our schema set up here. Here's our properties, our ID, and then we're saying our primary key is our ID. So let's copy our task schema. Since we're just getting this set up in this first one, we're not going to create a bunch of separate components. We're just going to lay everything out right here in the beginning of the app and kind of just console log some stuff to make sure it's all working. So let's drop in our first task, this schema for database object. Okay, so that's what we got there. Let's see, what do they got next for us? The next is you need to open a realm. And so we're going to copy this. Let's use their copy. And then we will open a realm. So this is how this realm right here, use realm to interact with the database. So we're going to use this realm guy. We just, kind of, we just set the path to my realm, we set the schema, so it knows this is the schema that it's using. Okay, 
And then we got to create some objects to get things going. They create objects in these transactions, and so this is going to be a write transaction. And we're just going to create one task in our first write transaction, but we'll copy the whole thing um, for now. So let's copy this whole write. And the first thing I know is we're going to run into a problem because this is asynchronous. And I can't just jump into an asynchronous thing out here, so I'm going to wrap this whole thing in a, um, in a function to get us started. So we'll just wrap this whole guy like this. And then we'll put an async in front of this. And then because that's async and we want it to run, we'll just go like this. Then this guy will run its startup. Let's format that. And so that's that. Then the next part we want to do is create our tasks. Let's drop that in. Uh, we are only going to create one. Uh, actually, let's create two tasks. So realm write. We're inside of async block. Data is created. This will write our two tasks. And so let's say task one and task two. Go shopping. Go to exercise. And then open. And let's do this. Date. This is a new date. Actually, I think I can just do this. Date. Now. So we have a little something else to be able to kind of see uh, what's going on with our objects. So this will be date created. And we'll keep our status below. Uh, just to let you know, every time I save this, it's going to be writing, saving stuff, I suspect. So we probably have more records. We are probably have already written records in the database. All right, records. And let's see. Okay. See, it's throwing a bunch of errors because it's like, because as you can see, let me make this bigger. Um, because I've saved this already, it already wrote a record, so it's complaining that there's already an object with that primary key. So let's kind of see what got written to the database. So now, so let's just do this in phase. So this is how we write. We know that it writes because we just saw the error, and also we can look at our console log, and we can see uh, created two tasks: go grocery and go exercise. And so our tasks are created. So continuing to run this is just going to cause errors. So we're just going to comment that out, but we'll leave it here. So I will include all the source code with this. So this is how you write the records. Now, how do you, let's put a little, a little more around that so you can see it later. So the next thing is like, how do I read the records? So let's copy this, go down here and say, read records from database. Once again, we're just following instructions, but we're doing it in the code so that maybe Sometimes people can read, but you want to see the code as you go along, so that's what I'm doing here. And it looks like all we need to do is we just call realm.objects and we pass it to schema type, and it'll give us back all the object that matches that schema type. Let's copy that. Let's go over here, paste our code. And so it should dump all the tasks and the tasks names here. So let's see what we get. And we get them all right here, looking kind of annoying. It's interesting that we have all these tasks. Some of these tasks are from like when I was playing around with this previously. So that should be interesting to see what they look like. Um, so these are the tasks. So this is just console logging out. Let's do, let's get this a little bit better. Okay. So here's our list of all, all the data we entered, like I said, I've been playing around with this, so just a couple of data, uh, records already saved. And there's the IDs. So that's how you get a list of all the records. So you just say realm objects, to schema type, and it gives you all the records from the database. So how do you get one record? So read one record. record from database. So let's see how you do that. See what the documentation says. Um, 
modify we'll get to that delete watch close uh, let's see find short filter delete let's go back up here and go back up here watch change access to latest data Uh, where is that command? Get started, quick start fundamental examples, read, write data. Let's see, read, write if it's there. That's what we're doing. Here we go. You just object for primary key, you pass the schema type and the ID. So let's copy that. And let's go back to our code. And we want our task and it's primary key. And we're going to get our ID from our output. And so we'll take this last one for one four eight one seven center id and then we'll use this console log here got task and we just want to see my task name my task id to confirm we retrieved the right task And we got it. Got task of grocery 48197. Let's do another one. And we got another task. Okay. So we know how to retrieve a task. Let's modify a task. So we're going to comment this out. And we are going to. So to modify a task, you need to do it inside of a write block like this. So let's just do a write block. We're going to set our write block like that. Let's close it out. Then we're going to, let's, we're just going to get this exact same task. Let's get this task. Let's take the comments off of it. So we'll get and let's change this to a let because we need to modify it. So we can't make it a const anymore. Let's take this comment off the end because we know what we're doing. Let's put one up on top here, const modify an object. All these objects started out with the status of open. So let's change this one to a status of close. Then let's put the ID and then let's dump the status on the end here. And so we'll dump it original, original, and then we're going to update it. And so what we'll do is we will go down here. We'll say my task dot status equals closed. And it's that simple. And remember, notice it's done inside this right transaction block. So let's save, save it and see what we get. All right, let's run this. And you can see now the task has a status of closed. So I updated the status and the status is closed. So we inserted, we read all the records, we got a specific record, we showed how to modify a record, and then now let's do the last one, which is delete a record. Comment this out. Delete. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this record. And then to actually delete it, all you have to do is say realm delete and pass it the object. So we're going to say my task. Before I save, let's take a look. It's task 47792. Okay, so let's save this and see what we get. So I go back, and we got an error. What's it complaining about? Object must be of type object, but got undefined. Looks like I ran it multiple times, and it deleted that object already. So let's go back. 
And let's find another task we want to delete. Because once I save this, it's recompiling and running it again. And so it threw an error because it's trying to delete an object and it didn't find it. So let's go back here and uh, and let's go back here and let's take this last one. So you can see the last one right now is 4817. Let's go here. We're going to say delete this task. I'm not going to save it. Delete my task. Let's put a comment here. Console log deleted task. And then also the documentation uh, likes to null the task out. So let's, my task is null. And then let's do a try catch. So we can see the error after it's deleted. So let's console log error. Well, I just did save, so it should have deleted it. And so it deleted the task. And so now the next time I run it, we won't see 4817. So let's refresh. See it through that error again. But you can see 4187 is gone. Prop. I can't find a variable error. What did I do wrong? Oh, this is what I did wrong. But you noticed our 481 for 4817 was gone. Okay, and this is the error it's catching. Must be of type object.undefined. So that meant they couldn't find 4817. Let's do this top one, 440. And this is the last thing we're gonna do in this video. So now we're gonna delete 440. Okay, and I save it, and it deleted the task, and if I run again, it's gone, and it's throwing the error because I couldn't find the one to delete. So that's what I wanted to cover. So we covered the basics for the CRUD, so we can delete a record, we can modify a record, we can read a record, and we can insert a record. So I just wanted to show how it kind of, how to get things set up with uh, MongoDB Realm in this video. And as you can see, I just kind of hacked everything in here, but in the next video, we'll structure it as a real React application. We'll actually start to use a UI to kind of enter some data and list the data out. We'll try to also show some more complex relationships here between these tasks, so you can see you can create more complex objects. Like I said, our goal is to kind of build the same app that I built in Vue, so we'll start to model out the location objects for Tesla, for Tesla databases. So hopefully you found this helpful. Please subscribe and watch the rest of the videos. Give me some feedback and let you know if you like this approach to doing things. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.